A C K K Studios. Yours, bird games. It's Y two K, a postmodern RPG. I'm already kind of really loving the music. It's got that sweet aesthetic. You know the kind. I'm I'm kind of wanting to see if they have this available on vinyl already. Just because I'm I'm that much enjoying this little beat here. But anyway. It's a new game, ladies and gentlemen. Hello there. Welcome to the wonderful world of Y2K. That said, Y2K, in case you were confused by the font choice in the logo. Thanks for letting me know. The developers thought it would be a cool idea to make the two a Roman numeral for some reason. <laughs> as they do. Grab your tinfoil hat and prepare your eyes, as they are about to be opened wider than you could have ever thought possible. This is going to be a wild ride. I'm going to ask you a few questions, if that's alright. Would you please pick a favorite color theme? I like that. That feels good. Great choice. What is the name your parents gave you? Don't lie now. This is super serious. It, I'm gonna be dude, per huge. I'm gonna be a dude. That feels good. Dude. Yes. Beautiful name. Wow, I wish I had a cool name like that. Your parents must have been super hip cats to come up with a name like that. My parents named me Marlene. Can you believe that? Yuck. Anyway, back to the questionnaire. Which of these do you identify with? Mmm. Rough. Yeah. Great. A few more questions and we'll be on our way. First things first. These are questions about real people in your IRL life. So, do your best to answer truthfully as it will hurt my feelings if you lie to me. And I've had enough of that, but you already know about that. So, name real, be honest, and give thoughtful responses. First question, what is the name of the coolest girl you know? Aww. 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 <laughs> yes, that name is okay. What about a friend who is smarter than you, but wouldn't ever draw attention to that fact? Well, our friend Glenn, of course. Even though, I might say, attention could be drawn. Yeah, that's cool. Ugh, friend who's a polar opposite of you. I don't know, I'm gonna say Doug. Doug. Yeah. What about the nerdiest guy you know? Oh, good lord. Ugh, whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna have to remember these character types. Yeah, that's fine. Ugh. Random. Here we go. Nice. That's cool. Lastly, what is your favorite piece of technology? Something you feel connected to? A router. Cool. 
I like that. That it just gives you a router. I feel like I know so much about you. I can tell we're going to get along famously. Now pretend I didn't ask you any of this. Play along now. God. It's April 4th. The year 1999. Chapter 1. A Wild Cat Chase. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Honk, honk, honk. Record stop. Got some Amish dudes around here not worrying about the looming technology. It's Frankton. Frankton. I'm in here, fresh off the tech crunch. On April 4th, 1999, I arrived home from school. I just graduated. Nice. It took a few semesters longer than I originally planned, but I was proud to be done. I like that there's voice acting. But it was optimistic. It was pretty great. What will you do? I will save. I like the the saving convention to give you. Oh my god. <laughs> this person looks absolutely insane. Nice. Gonna check out the zine. Hey man, you got a second? So guessing by your physical appearance, I think it's safe to say that you're a fan of video games, right? Yeah, I am. For five years I've written about video games and game culture, including the art, music, film, and fashion inspired by games and people who play them. Mostly I write about t-shirts and jeans, but that's okay. Anyway, a point of frustration I've encountered in my trials as a writer has always been the medium that I use to publish, the print. This used to rock, but now, thanks to that damn internet, it's starting to be too expensive to justify my own. Information is so easy to track down and share. Everyone can be a publisher on the internet. Anyone can have a voice, which is great, but online content is hardly permanent. It's ultimately just ones and zeros, here one day and gone the next. 99 is just a different beast from 98. The internet is ruining print and everyone can beat me to anything before I can get it out. This is why I want to create something truly special. Something that isn't about being ahead of the times, but capturing them. Something that will be a historical document in the years to come that really proves how great the 90s were for gaming. And what's a better way to do that than physical medium? So, I'm asking you, gamer to gamer, would you please, 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 please donate some money to me? With your hard-earned dollars and cents, you can help kickstart 90s guys. That's the name of my zine. And get it into stores and the hands of geeks like yourself. So, what do you say, man? Yeah. I'll give you some money. So how much do you want to donate? One dollar and I'll get a sticker. Five and you'll get a magazine. Ten, you'll get a producer credit in the back of the book. Remember, each donation, regardless of size, uh, something or other, with just a small donation of any size uh, can be the reason I'll lose sleep for the next <laughs> six months. So how much are you going to give? Here's ten bucks. I don't have enough cash to donate that much. Cool. Sorry, fam. Read the controls. Open the menu with the options button. From here, you can use items and check your status. My status. Party members. Beautiful. Beautiful. 
Is this home? Letter from mom. What up, ma? Alex. Alex. Dear. Oh, all right. Please see if you can muster up the energy to walk into town and pick up some groceries. I've included a list below. Hmm. I'm at home five I'm at five minutes and she's oh, all right. working orders in me. It reads it. Great. And I like the animation. I spotted something. Loose change. Loose change. An out of tune piano. What will you do with your landlines? Yes. I noticed something sticking out of the book. A collectible pog. Hooey. It's been two o'clock for years. We really should wind this up. I've read all these books already. This kind of reminds me of the house from Full House. Mom left a plate of cookies. Mom really needs to go food shopping. Bruh. Mom always kept the kitchen clean. Two pieces of bread lie mysteriously untoasted in the toaster. The table is set for six. It's been a while since we've eaten as a family. Yep, that's the bathroom. <laughs> I'm loving those. Used to be my dad's dresser. Till he up and got sucked into internet. I think. Drawer with my mother's unmentionables. Gross. Spotted something. Uh oh. 20 bucks? I'm going around and just robbing my parents, I guess. The latest hit. He wants it that way. By the Back Alley Boys is playing on the radio. It's one of the grosser names I've heard for Backstreet Boys. For my little fighter, Mom. So your mother gives you participation trophies. Che, thanks, Ma. Love ya. Put a record on. Seven years to earn my black belt. PlayStation and Super Nintendo. Mom wouldn't let me bring games to college. Pfft. That's all I did. This hamper won't stay empty for long. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Because you're a mess. The phone rings. Oh, uh, hoy hoy. What? Okay. The of the record player has Freaking me out, cuz. That phone call was surely one of the strangest I've ever received. And no, I couldn't hear the music. Hmm. I'm gonna save, Avi. 
frequent saving is the benchmark of any great RPG player. I think. Maybe. I don't know. I'm going to see if I can drop a record now. You can't. That's fine. Whatever. I like the art style. I dig this so-called Pomo. Let's see. Can't just invade someone else's home. Speak. Upset housewife. Husband parked here before going on a business trip. I moved the car, but he took the keys with him. Sounds like you've got a hacker man. Bark, bark. Mm. Can't jump up. Welcome to Frankton. Birthplace of the world's greatest CEO, Kenneth Lay. Hello. Oh, it's so nice of you to come visit me, dear. Tell me, what's the 411? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Ah. Your life is so interesting. Come back and visit me soon, dear. So I have got to find the grocery store, I think. Ain't you that Eggleston kid that lives up on the hill? Um, tell your sister I said, hey. We're gonna save. I'm digging it. The music is, is very good. Oh, and look, I can hint. Head east into town to grocery shop for mom. See, that's good. Having a hint is always, always appreciated in these things. Like, I wish I could get hints in Kingdom Hearts all the time, but... I don't think that game's so great. How about that? Hot take. <laughs> right? Hello? What's inside the chest? Two lemonade. Awesome. What's up, kid? Wide-eyed kid. I haven't visited the pawn shop. Hmm. Interesting. What's the economy? And I believe the grocery store should be this way. Right? We're just heading east. As I run through the street. A few hundred yards outside of town, I came to a junction. Mulling over the strangeness of being back home, I stopped to notice a forest I'd never explored. It was dark, <laughs> but somehow attractive. I made a mental note to explore it later, and took a step towards town when I heard a meow near my feet. Oh. I pictured what it would be like to be the owner I imagined describing him to a friend. <laughs> lonely? Nah, I don't get too lonely. Besides my mom, there's only a cat. An old cat. But a good friend to talk to. They always are. Reply. You talk things over, do you? Uh, I nod. Uh-huh. Been together a long time so we can read each other's moods. I understand what makes the cat tick. The cat knows what makes me tick. Good Marketing description of, of cat-human cat. relationships. Never met. He was a funny-looking cat. A funny rusting face and a Salvador Dali mustache. I couldn't imagine picking out this cat to bring home from a store. Mm -hmm. I leaned down to pet him without entirely knowing if cats like to be pet at all. His coarse hair ran through my fingers as he purred. Clearly he liked me. Now Dude's musing on the cat. Alex Eagleston, college graduate, friend of small animals. <laughs> hey! Give that back to me! <laughs> friend of small animals, stealing my list. 
What kind of cat moving noise is that? Ha! Is this what a battle looks like? Oh! Cool. So I can attack. I have skills. I can attack. It seems like. Press X on the colored sections. Oh! Nice. I think I might love this. I might. We're gonna say. I might be absolutely in love with this. Where you going, Kayette? Not to the factory hotel. Oh. Here comes a lady. Ooh, a ghost. Naturally, we're going to save. As we commonly do. And we're going to see what this lady wants right over here. As we continue, Y2K, the postmodern RPG.